In this video, I'm going to show you how to quickly and easily create Instagram posts in Canva. Now the process I'm going to show you inside of Canva is going to save you time and help you create more posts in less time, which is going to help you grow your Instagram and reach your audience so that you can get more views on Instagram and help you reach a bigger audience. So let's jump onto my laptop and let me show you how to create your own Instagram posts on Canva. To get started, click the link in the description down below. This is gonna take you across to Canva. You can sign up for a free account. And then I want you to search for Instagram post. Click on Instagram post, it's a 1080 by 1080. So it's a square profile for Instagram. I want you to choose one of the templates that you really like and it works for your brand. So choose something that has a look and feel that fits in with your brand. So he has a cool one that I like the look of. It's an ocean with someone swimming and surfing and you have a message which is gonna pop up. So the message is engaging. People like to see messages like this because they feel like it's a message to them when they're scrolling through their Instagram feed. And I'm gonna show you how quick and easy it is to edit a template like this, make it unique for yourself and then save it so that you can upload it to your Instagram. Now, all you need to do is in the template, you can go in and edit the text. So you can simply and easily edit the text so that it's unique. So it looks like it's coming from DM with Carl. And I've got a message to all new YouTube creators explaining how they can start getting more views on their YouTube videos and start growing their influence on their channel. So that's a simple and easy way to click in and edit the text. Now, if you want to change the background of the image, all you need to do is head over to the left hand side and click on photos. And there are a whole lot of free photos that you can use that you can then just drag and drop over the image if that's the one that you would like to use. If you don't like it, you can then change it to another image and pop that in or, and it's so easy to then rearrange how it looks. So if you want to move it around in there, you just double click and then we can zoom out a bit so we can see how it's looking and we can move it up and down and left and right to fit perfectly and click off once we are there. We can head back in to see what it looks like once we've moved that around. If you want to add your own images to the post, then you just head to uploads and you can upload media from your own computer. So I can grab one of the images that I have uploaded and pop it in there. Now, if it doesn't work, then we can grab another one and pop that in there and we can get that to fit by double clicking and we can expand and resize to get it to fit the exact dimensions that we want it to and click off and we can get it to fit nicely that one still doesn't work so let's find another image that works there's a cool image that fits and we're finding plastic on the beach here's an image of sarah ferguson she's an open water swimmer and if you want to check out her channel, I'll leave a link for you in the description below. Her channel is called Breathe Ocean Conservation and she swims amazing open water swims. She's a Guinness World Record holder. She's the first person to ever swim around Easter Island. So have a look at some of her videos if you're interested in open water swimming. So there's a cool image and I'm happy with that. And once you're ready, if you want to add in any elements, you can head across to the left and choose the elements tab and you can drag and drop anything that you really want to. There are even stickers that are animated. You can drop them in, resize them and put them wherever you want to make your image look cool as it moves. You can also search for different elements. So if you want a specific swimming image, you can then drag that and drop it in wherever you want it and resize so that it fits and looks good in your image. We're not going to add that for now. If you want to add any more text, you can grab and drop the text in there and then you can edit the text 
to whatever you want. If you want to resize, just highlight head and t-shirt and you can resize, that's a bit small. You can resize it using that or you can just grab the corner and pull it and resize just like that. We're not going to use that text for now. So all you do is select it and hit that backspace and it'll go away. And then the last thing I want to do is show you how to download the post. So you head into the top right hand side and you can click on download. Now you can choose the file type that you want to download. PNG is a high quality image. There's JPEG if you want a smaller size image. You can download it as a PDF or PDF print which is high quality. The sharp vector graphics that's part of the paid version so not part of the free. You can download it as a video or a GIF, a short clip with no sound. We like to use PNG or JPEG if we're using it for an Instagram post and then we download that to our computer and you can post it on your Instagram 